All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first one, pretty exciting because it seems like test, there has been a Tesla vision update that is starting to come out. So exciting news for everybody that does not have USS ultrasonic sensors on your Tesla. Of course, that feature was removed, I want to say around November or even, even December of last year. And so there's a lot of vehicles out there that do not have those sensors and so this update it is very timely because we've been waiting for this. We've been waiting for the functionality to come back. I know there's a handful of you with Tesla Model 3, Y, maybe even S or X is at this point that don't have the parking sensor uh, feature ability on your Tesla vehicle. So we're gonna get into that plus a variety of topics. But before we get into any of that, let's roll that intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best Yanni Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested in any of that. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel and get access to my buying guide, which has a list of all the best credit unions to finance your Tesla. Down below in the description, and down below. And thank you to my latest Patreon members uh, and YouTube members, the YouTube join button, Nick, Jayla Top. Thanks for joining. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for uh, getting, being a part of the community and the group. And uh, if you want to check it out, down below in the description. All right, so let us let us get into this. Shout out to Nada Tesla app, or actually really shout out to Green at Green the Only on Twitter. He is kind of like a Tesla hacker or real Tesla hacker, I guess, a Tesla a leaker. And they post this: vehicles without the ultrasonic sensors will soon be able to detect distances with Tesla's new park assistant feature. So if you don't know what's going on, if you've if you're in the market to buy a Tesla right now, if you believe it or not, uh, if you buy a Tesla right now, there is no ultrasonic sensor parking ability. So if you're backing up what that actually is, like with any other vehicle, with tons of vehicles like Toyotas, even Hyundais and Kias, I think at this point, when you're backing up, it will show you on the radar or it doesn't show you at this moment, like it doesn't give you any sort of warning. You have to kind of base it upon the camera, the backup camera and all that stuff. And so before this, there was like a little ultrasonic sensor on the bumper and it would start to do this beep, beep, beep thing as you got closer to like a wall or trash cans or whatever, anything like that. Our 2022 Tesla Model X does that and also 2022 Tesla Model 3s and Ys also do it. But around like November, or even December, they removed that feature. And if you're taking delivery of a Tesla right now, you probably have gotten some sort of you know notification or thing in your app before you take delivery. Basically, it's telling you to accept a delivery that you're not going to have uh, the Tesla you know the ultrasonic sensors because Tesla's moving to Vision. Uh, this is the update I'm actually talking about. It makes you basically agree that you're not going to have those ultrasonic sensors. And so this this is good because we've been waiting for this. I mean, arguably this is what, like four or five months overdue at this point, but shout out to Green the Only. The quote, looks like 2022 uh, 44.11 includes the new Vision Auto Park for USS less cars. Tesla Vision Park assists provides visual and audio alerts for surrounding objects. This uses uh, this feature uses the occupancy network to predict, predict high definition outlines of 30 objects, 36 degrees around the car. So we've been speculating this was gonna be coming out for a while using the vision cameras, the front, rear, left, and right side. Uh, and because there's been leaks of this, like people have shown that their vehicles have were somehow able to do this a while ago, maybe even salvage vehicles. And so this is good. This is good that it's finally coming out almost what, three three, four, five months after the vision, after the USS sensors were actually removed. And so I know I'm going to be pretty excited for this. I know a bunch of you are probably going to be excited for this. And uh, it's funny because there's people out there that are buying Tesla Model 3s and Model Ys right now, and you probably have no idea what we're exactly talking about. So this is good. Hopefully this, is, you know, there won't be a skip of, you know, no skip a beat on this and everybody will be happy with uh, buying their 55 or 45 or even $60,000 Tesla with their parking sensor feature ability. So definitely some good stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. I know most of you are probably excited like we are. 
to basically have this luxury feature back uh, that uh, was essentially gone before. Uh, so let's see, considering it's only enabled on USS less cars, I guess it'd be inferior to the real USS experience. After all, you can only do so much uh, about the area where you cannot see. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting because there's gonna be tons of videos probably that are gonna come out right when this feature gets released, comparing USS versus the cameras uh, and the Tesla Vision. But uh, I mean, the good thing is that, uh, the good thing is there's probably going to be updates on this, further updates, that's for sure. And Tesla will always be improving this uh, after every single update moving forward. So. You know, probably when it first comes out, uh, there's going to be some accidents, I would say. People are going to hit stuff still. I mean, I almost hit stuff all the time, even though I do have the sensors, you know. And so you know, backing up with big cars or any sort of car can be uh, nerve wracking at the end of the day. So or, we, or maybe we just rely too much on technology sometimes. But Here's a question, is it only active on cars without USS or is it used for both uh, formers? So that's pretty good. Uh, so hopefully this comes out very, very soon. Hopefully that we should see this uh, rolling out to vehicles. So this is good news for you if you have a Model 3 or Model Y. So let me know if you're excited. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Uh, drop it down in the comments or even in the live stream. We're gonna jump into our next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description of the Patreon links if you wanna support the channel and receive a my buying guide, which has links to all the resources and and links that I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible financing rate, including including credit unions and banks on that list that all have interest rates lower than Tesla financing. Tesla finance like 5.59%. All those banks are lower than that. So definitely 